What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, we are going to be looking at brimstone and brimstone locations across the map. Now this is a redo of a video that I had on my channel because there were some comments that said I didn't show the map well enough and I missed a location. So we're going to cover all of them in this video. Starting off with the Shattered Springs that's up here in 8C. As you can see there, right there. And this is the Shattered Springs. Now what you want to do is just come up to these stalagmites that are here, or stalactites. I don't know which one they are, but you want to just uh, harvest these right here. You are in noxious gas, so you will need a uh, sandstorm mask or a gas mask of some sort. Now this area is plagued, at least on PvP, by people that will uh, wall it off. Uh, so sometimes it is not accessible, but you can see all that uh, brimstone that's in there. There's just an absolute ton of brimstone littered throughout here. There's also a boss uh, rot branch here, uh, right there. So you'll want to watch out for him, but there is a just absolute ton of brimstone in this area. Another location that you can find brimstone is actually very close to the starting area or Noob River as it's called. And that is going to be right here in G4. And that is Sinner's Refuge right here. It is a little cave in the mountainside here. And if we run inside, you're simply looking for these orange rocks here. That's going to be brimstone. And I will run you through to the back. Keep in mind, this is a hostile area so you will have to fight your way through but uh, there is actually quite a bit of brimstone in and uh, throughout this cave so you've got some here got some over here and then all the way in the back as well there is more brimstone there's some uh, just anywhere you see those orange rocks you'll be able to harvest uh, brimstone from them and there's some uh, back here as well and then around the other side. So plenty of brimstone in Sinner's Refuge. The next one on our list is another cave and it is here in 4H, not very far from Sinner's Refuge. And this is Galliman's Tomb. Now Galliman's Tomb has brimstone. It also has uh, crocodiles and uh, we'll just run around crocodiles or alligators or crocagators. I don't know what you want to call them, but they're in here uh, kind of littered all over the place with the brimstone. This is also where you come for one of the uh, final pieces of the puzzle to remove your bracelet. So uh, there's a big croc right back there. You can kill and get one of those things. So, uh, but there's brimstone all in through here. You could just come in here and harvest it up. Let's go ahead and just kill him off and see what we get uh, from his corpse. Yeah, so you get the jaggered uh, scourge stone piece from him, and that's part of what you need to make the keystone. The next location on our list is not for anybody that has arachnophobia because you are going to run into an absolute ton of spiders here, but this is Executioner's Entrance. There's also an entrance right here next to Death Whisper Ruins, and what I'll show you is I'll run uh, in through this way and out through the other way. That way you can see the entire cave here, but uh, as you can see, plenty of spiders. There's also a lot of iron in here, so you can get that uh, as you go through here, but uh, plenty of brimstone for your uh, mining pleasure. So we'll just run through. I'll show you uh, pretty much all that there is. There's some here, some there, and we'll continue on in. Lots more brimstone here. We're just going to fly over these guys because they do get in the way. There's a lot of spiders in here, guys. Uh, so be prepared to fight your way through this area. There's also skeletons, as you can see there. And as we come into uh, the next area, you'll see there's a boss right there. And this boss drops all the executioner gear. So if we go up and uh, we'll just give him a, a quick kill, see if we get anything. We got a fragment of power, but he does drop the executioner's hood, axe, and sword. Uh, so you can kill him if you want to. But once we're in here, if we go off this direction, we will head to... The other entrance that I told you about, and uh, like I said, there's plenty of brimstone in through this area as well for you to harvest up and uh, get 
all the brimstone that you need. Just watch out for all the spiders. And there you go. We are out uh, the other side, just like I said. And it is uh, right here on the map. So the next location is right here. It is a sail stitch camp uh, right here on the map. And that is going to be 6J in uh, right there. So uh, there's actually brimstone right back behind here a little bit. And then if we run out here, there's some right over here, right there. And then there is some right here and some right there so not not a whole lot of brimstone around this area but it is uh easy to grab on your way by if you're around this area just uh just harvest it up while you're running through possibly one of the most prevalent places to find brimstone is going to be out here in the jungle area so i am at the most north point here in eight oh so uh, you can go all the way through this entire area, all the way through uh, there, and you're going to find brimstone. And I'm going to show you uh, what you are looking for. Basically, you see uh, these uh, stalactites or stalagmites. Uh, again, I don't know which ones they are, but uh, these sticking up out of the ground. And if you look down and around, there is plenty of brimstone uh, lying on the ground around it. Now, you can either pick them up like that, or you can hit them with your pick. Hopefully. It's a little bit, uh, little bit more challenging and difficult to hit them with your pick, but you should be able to... There we go. Should be able to hit them with your pick while you're down here, and that is going to give you more brimstone than uh, you would get if you picked them up, but it is a bit difficult to get the proper angle on it. So again, we're right here on the map. I'm just going to fly through the water and show you how much brimstone is in this area. Um, I'm not going to stop at all of them, but basically you're just looking for these uh, kind of setups right here. So we're just going to keep an eye out for those as we go through and uh, we will make this as quick and painless as possible. I just want to show you uh, kind of how much there is. So there's one there, there's one over there, uh, there's one off in the distance over here and one further on from that. You can see um, one there and this is this is actually quite close to Buccaneer Bay there. You can see Buccaneer Bay and then these uh constellations or installations okay so um we'll just continue on here so there's one there there's one there there's one there there's just they're they're littered all through uh the seafloor here so if you kind of swim down anywhere you're uh bound to find them so there's that there there's some there and you could come down here and uh you could get brimstone you could also dive for gold at the same time uh, you'll need something for uh, your breath whether that's potion or riptide like I have right now uh, where you're not going to uh, drown but like here's brimstone right here and here's chests full of uh, gold and silver right so uh, gold and silver in those chests and uh, brimstone right next to it and then if we continue on like i said there's just tons of these brimstone uh installations all the way through uh the sea floor and the jungle and here's more here and we can continue on and just find it uh just absolutely everywhere on the sea floor and this is probably um i'm going to say that it's probably just as much brimstone in this area as there is in the Shattered Springs area, but it, this is much harder to get to uh, than the brimstone in the Shattered Springs. So a uh, lot harder to uh, get to and, and to collect than that area, but there is quite a bit uh, of brimstone for you to find. So uh, like I said, we came from way up here. We came all the way around. You can see how many we got throughout that whole thing. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time.
Peace. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Y'all are absolute legends. Thank you to all my subscribers for your continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you don't miss out on my next upload. There's a couple of videos on the screen. You can follow me over there to continue the conversation.